What's up guys, welcome back from, wait, what I say? Welcome back to the channel. I was about to say welcome back from Trinidad. Ah, you didn't go to Trinidad. I just went to Trinidad. We just got home last night at 11.30. Already back to the grind here on Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. In today's video, we got a 2021 Kawasaki, might be a 2022, I don't know. That's why I kind of look confused here for a second. 2021 ZX14R, brand spanking new in the bone stock configuration. Wait till you hear this thing. Yep, sounds just like all the other bone stock bikes in the world. Super quiet, doesn't make any noise whatsoever. A lot like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Anyways, the customer, he wants to keep it that way. He's got multiple bikes. And let's just say he's a repeat offender here at More Mafia. This is about his fourth or fifth time being on the dyno with different motorcycles. He likes to buy new bikes, ride them for a little while, try them out, tune them, play with them, have some fun, trade it and get a new one. Hey, that's the name of the game. If you could do it, let her roll. Anyways, we're gonna see what we can get out of this CX-14R just by reflashing the ECU. This thing's got restrictions on it and it also, is like twitchy on and off the throttle. So when you let off the throttle, boom, the nose drops. When you give it gas, boom, kicks your head back and just makes it for an unpleasant riding style whenever you're just trying to maintain speed or trying to be smooth in and out of the corners. Anyways, we're gonna fix all that today, smooth this thing out and see if we can get some more horsepower on it. And I already know what you're gonna say. Chris, is the full exhaust system really worth it? because I think you're gonna be surprised that it's gonna make really good power with these stock big cannon style exhaust systems. Stay with us guys, here we go. So I'm not gonna show you hundreds of dyno pulls on this thing. Not that we show a hundred dyno pulls anyway, it's a little bit of an exaggeration on my part. But anyways, I did the baseline pull on this thing, meaning we didn't change anything. We just put it on there and ran it. Look at what we found. This thing made 183 horsepower and 108 foot pounds of torque in bone stock configuration. But the air fuel ratio you can see goes super, super rich. And it also is super, super lean cruising around. Rich means too much fuel, lean means not getting enough. So we're gonna fix all that. We're gonna go in, dial in the air fuel ratios to get the air fuel perfectly smooth on this bike. And then we're gonna stop what they call the decel fuel cut option. So whenever you let off the throttle from the factory, the fuel injectors turn off to keep down on fumes and to make the bike, uh, I guess you say just pass standards we're gonna fix all that we're gonna make it to where when you let off the throttle the fuel injectors keep running just a slight bit so that way when you resume throttle there is no on and off throttle twitchiness it's gonna be super smooth and we're gonna get some more power out of this thing i think you're gonna be really surprised at how much power this thing gains because the secondary throttle plates not only are they slow to open but they also close back off we're gonna correct all that in the tune of this thing and we're gonna change the fan temps and top speed rev limiter to see what we can get top speed wise out of this thing. Before we go too far with tuning this thing, we do have a, one thing we have to do. If you get your ECU flashed on this bike, we have to unplug and disable the factory O2 sensor. Real simple to do. You're gonna need a five millimeter Allen wrench and you're gonna remove this screw right here. Super simple. It's probably not gonna be quite as simple on a red hot bike. Remove this screw here. Now this fairing will pull back just a smidge, okay? We don't need a lot, we just gotta pull it back. The O2 sensor is in the exhaust pipe. I'm gonna try to touch it right there. Right there, see where my finger's at? Anyways, that's the O2 sensor and it plugs in. We don't have any flashlights, I know, I know, I know. Don't give me a thumbs down. But the O2 sensor, it plugs in right here, okay? So that's where this trusty long flathead screwdriver is gonna come in. We're going to push, unplug it. We're gonna leave it in the exhaust pipe. We're just gonna unplug 
the O2 sensor. The O2 sensor tells the bike to run super lean. We do not want the bike to run lean. We want it to run based off of our tune, not what the O2 sensor sees, okay? Um, the O2 sensor is gonna tell the bike to lean out and we don't want that. And it does it at that eco mode. Whenever you see that eco mode pop up on the dash, that's when you're gonna see the bike pull all the fuel from it. And we don't want that to happen. Give me just one second. I'm gonna have this unplugged. I gotta use my flashlight. Once I unplug this, I'm gonna show you what the plug-in looks like. All right, so I got it where you can see it a little better now. Here's the O2 sensor. This right here, you're just gonna push this little button in. Let's see if I can get my hand up. This thing is red hot too. Anyways, up here at the top, it's a button. You're gonna push that in. And then of course, just give it a little tug and boom, the O2 sensor is unplugged. Now, you see how long the wire is? It's real short, about, let's say 12 inches long. We're gonna zip tie this up to where it can't fall down and drag the ground, which I don't think it can anyway. But anyways, once you zip tie this up, you'll just leave it in the exhaust pipe, it's done. All right, guys, we just got this thing all flashed up. We're about to make the first pull. I hope you can hear how the bike sounds. <laughs> it's not quite as loud as the fan. Anyway, it's not running now. I'm about to fire it up and make the first pull. Let's see what kind of results we get. that go into top speed. If you weigh 350 pounds, you ain't going as fast as what this thing is gonna say. In other words, the weight slows the bike down. Also, the aerodynamics are very important for top speed. You really need to be built like, kinda like me, but maybe even a little shorter to get the best fold up and get the most aerodynamic and best top speed. But let's just see what this thing is capable of now that we've taken the top speed rev limiter off. I said top speed rev limiter, I meant top speed restriction. the results we got I've got a few things pulled up here and we're gonna go over and talk about all of them here is our final before and after number 
you can see here the green line is the after, the blue line is before. In other words, this is what we started with. At 9,500 RPMs, we picked up eight horsepower. And here at 10,300, we picked up 10 horsepower. So overall, huge gains from this thing. And just remember, this is just a flash and tuned ECU. This is not buying any other parts other than a sprint air filter, but that was in there when we dynoed it with the 183 horsepower. So overall, huge gains, 10 horsepower. This is a cheap modification. Just go on our website, moremafia.com. You can learn more there about what you need to do to send it in. All you gotta do is scroll down, click the description, read and click that link below. That will take you to our website and show you all the details. Now, we're gonna put this over into speed form. In other words, this is mile per hour down here at the bottom of the screen, no longer engine RPMs. You can see how much more miles per hour we got out of fifth gear by extending that rev limiter to let that thing pull a little farther. We're doing 181 miles per hour, it looks like, 180 miles per hour in fifth. And then, God forbid, we click the sixth gear, boys. Check this out. Let's pull it all up. This thing, nope, wrong run. Hold on a second, hold on, hold on. We got better. There it is, boys. 200 mile an hour. All right, guys, so here's our 200 mark. When we hit the rev limiter, the thing maxed out the dyno, max speed sample, 200.4 miles per hour. And then you can see the tire actually traveled a little faster than that, went basically 202 after we let off the throttle. So this thing, massive, massive gains. Factory, they're limited to 186 miles per hour. Now, that doesn't mean we, or you, are gonna necessarily go like that. If you're built like a parachute, <laughs> it just ain't gonna happen, guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you wanna send your ECU in to get this modification done, you all you gotta do is mail it to us. Go to moremafia.com. There's a video on the ECU flashing page about what you need to do to send your video in. If you want a sprint air filter like this bike, go to broxperformance.com. Use the code moremafia5. Get yourself 5% off. Or if you want, you have a ZX14, you want to get some more power and you don't like it being quiet, go to Brock's Performance website, check out the Brock's Performance exhaust. Also scroll through my channel. I have several other videos tuning ZX14s with exhaust system. Me personally, I gotta have a little noise. I, I gotta make some kind of noise. The Brock's Performance Alien Head 2 is my favorite exhaust on a ZX14. Probably the best sounding motorcycle, period, once you put exhaust, that exhaust on there. Smash that like button, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. We're getting so close to 100,000 subscribers, guys. I thank you for all the love and support. Smash the like button. Remember, I told you. All right, see you next time.